with classes canceled today. Uh, university officials are encouraging students to seek out counselors on campus or to reach out to their call center for any support that they may need. KPRC 2's Bill Barajas continues her team coverage from Rice University. And Bill, you found there is not only help on campus, but off campus as well. Well, thankfully, there's a lot of great organizations all across uh, town with trained professionals that you can talk to. One of those is the nonprofit ABDA or Aid to Victims of Domestic Abuse. They say you may not necessarily need to talk to someone right now, but maybe you might need to talk to someone or sit down with somebody down the line in the future. What are some of the dangers of not seeking out help? Well, it could it could escalate in terms of not feeling healthy, not feeling emotionally well. Um, people go into depression and all kinds of other mental health issues um, as a result of not addressing trauma. Maisha Coulter is the CEO of ABDA, or Aid to Victims of Domestic Abuse. Her nonprofit, like many others, is there to listen and support the community, especially when they are mourning the death of a family member, friend, neighbor, or classmate like Rice University student Andrea Rodriguez Avila. Go where you feel the most comfortable. I think what people sometimes do is minimize the impact of these things. Making sure that you check in, check in with your peers, check in with others, and if you feel like you're still dealing with something or something doesn't feel quite right, it may be the result of trauma. And so having the ability to say, I don't feel like I want to feel is enough for you to maybe go and look for resources to help you. What about for parents um, in situations where their, their student or their child does not live at home or has gone away off to college? Making sure that y'all check in, have a regular um, contact, you know, um, with each other, whether that's text messages, phone calls, whatever it is, but making sure that you stay in contact. Again, important to seek out that help if you need it. We will have a list of resources on our website. Just go to click2houston.com. We're live from Rice University. Bill Barajas, KPRC 2 News. All right, Bill, thank you. And we've been compiling domestic violence resources for a year and a half now. And that is where you can start our Breaking Free initiative. You can get more information, an article that we are highlighting there today, recognizing the red signs, how to identify unhealthy dynamics in a young couple's relationship. You can find it at the top of our Breaking Free section. Just go to our website, click2houston.com slash domestic violence.